The days of Windows being a few megabytes large are over. People are saying big words like terabytes, petabytes, exabytes, and more nowadays. But what do all these numbers mean? And what comes after exabytes? Because there are words for thousands and millions of exabytes. Because entities like governments have a lot of data to be stored and we need words to describe the amount of data they have. So let's go back to the basics. Computers and stuff run on binary, ones and zeros. When we're talking storage units, each one and each zero is a bit. You need eight of these bits, which is a byte, to store a letter, number, symbol, or some emoji. A lot of emoji actually require two bytes or 16 bits. In other words, 16 numbers that could be a one or a zero. For example, lowercase a would be 011000001. All those zeros and ones, trues and falses, equate to the lowercase a. A kilo means a thousand. A kilometer is a thousand meters. Therefore, shouldn't a thousand bytes be a kilobyte? Well, it's close. The binary system is also known as the base 2 system, and computers work in powers of 2. There's a reason why you can't have one storage drive, like a USB stick, have 3 gigabytes of storage. You could have a drive with 2 gigs of storage, and a drive with 1, but not one drive with 3 gigs. The reason why it's like this is complex, let's just remember that 1024 bytes is a kilobyte, but people often round it down to 1000. So 1000 or so kilobytes is a megabyte, and about a thousand of that's a gigabyte, and about a thousand of that's a terabyte, and about a thousand of that's a petabyte. But it doesn't stop there. About a thousand of that is an exabyte, and about a thousand of that is a zettabyte, and about a thousand of that is a yottabyte. And about a thousand of that is, well actually, we don't have a name for it yet. But we'll need one soon, because there are entities out there, like the US government, that have yottabytes of data. Some people are suggesting 9 bytes and 10 bytes. Whoa, 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 why? Okay, so here's why. Just look at this table. If kilobyte would be the first step up from byte, and megabyte is the second step up, and yottabyte is the eighth step up, then 9 byte and 10 byte are at least somewhat logical. One person actually tried to make hellabytes, as in hell a lot of bytes, the official next name. Thankfully, that failed. A good chunk of the industry is going by the unofficial names of Brontobytes and Geopbytes. Yes, people are developing huge systems that can hold that much data. A Geopbyte of storage can hold 83 quintillion installs of Windows 10. Mind-boggling. It's enough to give each human on Earth over 100 quintillion gigabytes of storage. And Windows 95 was a matter of megabytes big. But in 2013, the National Security Agency carried nearly 2 exabytes of data a day. So thanks for watching this video. It was fun being mind boggled by these super cool factoids. And I hope you learned something from this video as well. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, discuss in the comments, and share this pretty cool video with people that may be interested. With this, I conclude.